Yeah, okay, so we're going to get started. So we're going to look at diseases and defects. So we've looked at the last two chapters we looked at where the conversion of timber, which is basically cutting a tree into logs and then into planks of wood. And then the last chapter we looked at was seasoning. So how we dry out the planks. The next thing we're going to look at is how different diseases and different defects affect the wood and how it makes it harder for us to use them and so on. Okay, now there's quite a bit to this chapter, so we won't do it all today. But what we will do is we'll probably do the first half of it, and then we'll do the other half next week. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, pro we'll try and do half of it today and see how long it takes us. Okay, so defects. So, what would defect, when can it happen or occur? So, it can occur naturally while the tree is growing. Or during the seasoning process okay so whenever a tree if you look out your window a tree that's growing it can naturally have a defect in it or it can happen during the seasoning process I'm sure you all remember that seasoning is when we dry out the wood okay how does a defect affect the wood a defect can affect the strength and the quality of the wood okay so it makes it harder for us to work with it the defects can also affect the appearance of the wood. Some can be decorative. In other words, they can be nice. Okay, so some people, for example, like knots in the timber, etc. Okay, so knots are actually the first type of defect we're going to look at. Okay, there's two types of knots. Okay, but first of all, what is a knot? How is it formed? So a knot is formed when a branch joins the trunk. Okay, so every tree has a trunk. Anywhere where there's a branch coming out from the trunk, there would be a knot in the timber there. Okay, so every branch where the branch connects to a tree trunk, a knot will always be there. Okay, so knots will reduce the strength of the timber and make it more difficult to work with. Now, there's two types of knots. The first one are live knots. So there's a picture of a live knot. So a live knot is a knot that does not fall out. And some people would consider it to be attractive or look nice in the wood. Okay, so if you have a piece of wood and there's a knot in it, we call it a live knot. The other type is a dead knot. So that's when you get a piece of wood and there's either no knot in it. In other words, there's an empty gap. Or you have a knot that looks like this. And if you push your finger through the knot, the knot would fall out. Okay, in other words, that's a dead knot. Okay, so dead knots are darker in color. They tend to become loose and they'll often fall out. Okay, so that's two types of knots. We have live knots and dead knots. Okay, and we're going to move on now to the um, shakes. Okay, so what is a shake? So a shake is basically a split in the end grain of the wood. Okay, and it's identifiable by the kind of end of the log okay in other words the section that we cut off a log okay so we'll show you now what they look like so the first one we have is a frost shake okay so a frost shake is just a straight line but the thing about a frost shake is it's basically all the shakes are cracks by the way okay so if we talk about a shake we're talking about a crack so here we have a crack in the log it's coming from the center in other words the path through the heartwood, through the sapwood, through the bark, okay, in a fairly straight line. So that's called a frost shake, okay. If you want to think of it as maybe an ice icicle, okay. So the wood splits from the outside inwards and it will always go into the center of the wood, in other words, the path. The cause is very cold weather. That's why it gets its name, the frost shake. So as I say, if you want to think of it as an icicle or something, Okay, it's just a straight line from the bark into the center of the tree. Okay, so frost shake, the reason it's called a frost shake is because it's caused by very cold weather. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is a cup shake. Okay, so it's called a cup shake. Why? Because it's kind of, well, it's a C shape. Okay, but you could say it kind of looks like a cup in a way. All right, it splits along the growth rings, okay? So you know how you have all your growth rings for each year or annual rings, if you like. This is basically a split or a crack along an annual ring, okay? So it doesn't go around the full ring. It just goes around part of it, maybe half of it or less, 
and we call that a cup shake. The cause of this could be poor felling, so that's cutting the tree down wrong, harsh weather conditions, sometimes it's old age, or sometimes it could be poor nutrition. Okay. The opposite to a ring shake or a cup shake is the ring shake. In other words, it's the same thing. So a ring shake is the same thing as a cup shake, only it goes the full way around the annual ring, so it makes a circle. Okay. So there's three types of shakes. Now we have a few more to look at. The next one is the heart shake. Okay. Now the heart shake radiates from the center of the trunk. Okay, so again, like the uh, frost shake, it goes to the center. Okay, but it doesn't necessarily go the whole way out to the bark. It could go the whole way to the bark, but it doesn't. It radiates from the center of the trunk. Basically, it's from drying too fast. So if you're drying this log, you could get a heart shake. Okay, so a heart shake is one that comes from the center of the log, but it has more than one line. So in other words, this one has two. It could have more, but usually if you get it in exam, it will be only one that has, it'll be one that has two. Okay. Now, the final one is the star shake. Okay, so a star shake usually has five lines. Okay, and you can see where it gets a shape. It's basically like a star shape. Okay, it's not a perfect star. It's caused by harsh, harsh weather conditions. Okay. So that is our shake. So we have... How many shakes do we say we had five? I think it does. Okay. So, so far we've looked at two types of knots. We have live knots and dead knots. Then we've looked at our five shakes or cracks, if you like. They're frost, cup, ring, heart, and star. Okay. These are all natural defects, by the way. Okay. These are all natural. So the next one we're going to look at is a resin pocket. Okay. Now, Hopefully everybody knows what resin is. Okay, so resin is the kind of yellow sticky sap, is another word for it, that comes out of trees, especially softwood trees. Okay, so trees that have needles in them. Okay, so a resin pocket is literally a pocket full of this resin. Okay, sticky stuff. It's usually yellow in color. Okay, so internal splits, so just splits that are inside basically inside the trunk that become filled with resin or sap. It makes the timber a lot weaker. Okay. And this is what it looks like. It's literally just a big section. If you'd like to think of your pocket and your trousers, imagine that's full of something. This is what this is. It's a pocket that's full of resin or sap. Okay. Next one we're going to look at is a thing called a burr. So a burr is actually really, really nice in timber. Okay. It's really, really expensive. So it's a desirable defect. In other words, it's a kind of valuable defect. It's highly decorative because of the grain. It's very common in oak and elm trees. Okay. So we usually get a burr in oak or elm trees. Now you could get it in some other trees, but it'd be very, very uncommon. It's often sliced into veneers. Veneers are paper, are basically pieces of wood that are like paper thickness. Okay. And they're really expensive and they're just used to make kind of nice decorative furniture. Okay, so a burr comes from something like this that grows on the tree. Now, what could cause that? Could be a damage or something that's put onto the side of the tree, and the tree obviously heals itself and recovers. Okay, it kind of creates a thing that looks like this. We call it a burr growth. Okay, and when you cut up the pieces inside it of timber, it looks like this. Okay, so it is a nice grain effect okay so that is the burr okay the next ones we're going to look at a season defect so we might just actually leave it there today and we might just leave it with the um natural defects okay so we'll just leave it with the natural defects now what i will do is we can go back over all of this okay just very very quickly Okay, so not so we're looking at defects. A defect occurs naturally while a tree is growing during the seasoning process. So we've just finished seasoning, it's the drying. 
How does it affect the wood? How does the defect affect the wood? Defects can affect the strength and the quality of the wood. So if I give you a piece of wood that has a lot of knots in it, you wouldn't, you'd find it a lot harder to work with that than a piece that has no knots or very little knots on it. Okay. Defects can also affect the appearance of wood and some can be decorative, such as the burr. Okay. So natural defects. The first ones we looked at were the knots. There's two types of knots. A live knot, which means if you get a piece of wood that has a knot in it and you can't take it out easily, it means it's a live knot. A dead knot is the opposite. It's a darker color and usually it'll fall out or it'll be very loose. Okay. If it's still in the timber and is loose, it means you'll be able to push it out very easily. Okay. And again, a knot grows on a tree where a branch comes out from the trunk. Okay. So that's the knots. The shakes, remember we have five types of shakes. Shakes are basically splits or cracks in the end grain of the wood. Okay, so identifiable in the end of a log means it's easy to see them in the end of a log. So that's why all these pictures I'm showing you shows you the end of a log. Okay, the first one's a frost shake. It looks like an icicle if you like. It goes from the bark right into the center, usually a straight line. The wood splits from the outside inwards. Very cold weather causes it and that is why it gets its name frost shake okay a cup shake is a c shake kind of shape okay or it looks like a cup it splits along the growth rings usually caused by something like old age or harsh weather conditions maybe it was cut down wrong or maybe it's the trees growing in an area that doesn't have much nutrition in the soil Okay, the opposite of that is a ring shake, which is basically a shake that goes along the annual rings or the growth rings, but it goes around the full way. Okay. And the other two types of shakes we have is the heart shake, radiates from the center of the trunk. It means it starts in the center of the trunk, in other words, the path. And usually it'll be two cracks that are joined together to make a heart shake. Okay. Usually caused by the timber or the log drying out too quickly. The final one is the star shake. It looks like a star. It usually has about five lines coming out from the center. It's caused in harsh weather conditions. When we talk about harsh weather conditions, something that's not kind of natural or normal. So it could be really, really cold or it could be extremely warm weather conditions. Okay, something which we wouldn't get in Ireland very often. Final two things then we looked at for natural defects was a resin pocket and a burr. So again, a resin pocket is just literally a pocket full of yellow sticky resin or sap. Makes the timber a lot weaker. And the final one is the burr, which is a desirable defect, which means it's really expensive. A lot of people want it, okay? And it's highly decorative, okay? So it's highly decorative, which means it's very, it'd be used in very high-end furniture, okay? It's very common in oak trees or elm trees, and they're often sliced into veneers. Now, we'll not be learning about veneers until second year or third year, but veneers are just like if you get a sheet of paper, it's basically a slice of wood that is like a sheet of paper. It's that thin, okay? And that would be used maybe glued on top of maybe a piece of plywood or a piece of MDF to make the wood look like solid wood, but it has a nice burr effect on it. Okay, so that is all we're going to look over for the time for now.